So I did a thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a thing that a lot of people do, and they do it quite often. I haven't done this in a couple years. I, uh, I bought a new belt. I got myself a new Hoyt. So let's say we, uh, we get a set up and shooting. Buying a bow wasn't something that I really planned on happening this year. But it was almost like a perfect situation. It was a perfect situation because I was uh, not planning on buying one. But one night I just got bored, couldn't sleep, jumped on YouTube, started watching videos about this year's lineup for all the bows. And I just got a bug to get a new bow. Just a complete want and desire for a new bow. Next morning on my way to work, talked to my wife. Ended up talking to my wife. Said, hey, I think I wanna go get a new bow. And she pretty much said, sounds great, babe, have fun. So after I got off the phone with my wife, got the okay, called over to the archery shop to ask them if they, uh, or how long it would take for them to order one in. Cause I just assumed it needed to be ordered. Said about six weeks. Well, I'm about six weeks away from the hunt. Didn't seem like too much of a, that great of an idea. So, I said, ah, maybe next year. Guy at the archery shop said, well, what bow is it that you're looking for? I told him, I think I wanna do a, a Venom 33. He's like, well, I got a couple of those in stock right now. Is there a specific color you're looking for? And I told him, well, why don't you tell me what you got? Because if you got one that I might be interested in, I might as well just pick it up. So he told me he had the, the buckskin and the wilderness. The wilderness is the one that I truly wanted. So at first it was kind of looking like I wasn't going to be able to get a new bow this year or the stars weren't going all line. But then it just seemed like it, I was meant to get a new bow this year with him having the exact one that I wanted to stop. Pretty much switching all the stuff over from my old bow, RX-1. Everything but the quiver and the sight. Now it's going to be tough too because this is going to be my backup bow. So. So long story short. I got a new bow. I always feel like getting a new bow is bittersweet for the most part. Because on the one hand, you're getting a new bow. Who wouldn't be excited about getting a new bow? On the other hand, my old bow, I've had it for four years now, I think is what it is. It gave me my first archery kill. Good old four point buck, not that one. That one's my brother's. I wish I could claim that one. 
And then I also killed countless rabbits and two does. So it pretty much sparked my love and desire for bow hunting. So that's kind of kind of bittersweet to be letting it go. But then you look at your new bow, all brand new, fresh out of the package, and you just can't stop thinking about everything that you're going to be able to harvest with it. Hopefully be my first elk. Maybe be able to kill something bigger than that. You just never know. But that's the excitement. Now speaking of actual hunts, let's talk about what I have planned for the year. I couldn't have gotten this bow at a better time. Got a busy year planned for archery stuff. So I've got three weeks. Three weeks. Well, first of all, in three weeks I'm going to California on a vacation. And then re directly after that, in the next weekend, my dad and I signed up for Total Archery Challenge Park City. So then we're shooting all four days at Park City. Directly after that, the next weekend, we're shooting the Snowbird Total Archery Challenge. So we've got two weeks in a row, two weekends in a row, of shooting Total Archery Challenge. That's going to be fun. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be fun. Definitely put the bow through its paces during that point. No doubt about it. So more or less, I've got four weeks to get this bow all tuned up and ready to go for Total Archery Challenge and two weekends of it. And then, as far as hunts go this year, I drew out a buck tag here in Utah for Box Elder, which, based off of what I'm hearing, I could be wrong about this, but it's not the greatest unit. So honestly, I don't know how much time and effort I'm gonna be putting into that unit trying to get a buck. Especially since we get here in Utah what's called the extended archery hunt. Which basically means after the season is over, the regular season, you can apply to do the extended archery hunt. And it's not necessarily even applying. All you really got to do is just take an ethics course and then you can hunt until pretty much the end of November. Beginning of December, I think is what it is. And so I might just do that. Not even worry about going to Box Elder and then just hunt the extended archery this year. Elk, I'm buying an over-the-counter elk tag. Which basically just means I can hunt anywhere in the state of Utah with a bow. I just have to follow the rules of the land. So if it's in any bull unit, I can obviously take a, bow, a bull or a cow. If it's a limited entry, I can take a cow only. And then there's a few spots within the state where it's spike only and literally spike only. I can't even take a cow. So my dad drew a buck tag for Manti? Somewhere in that area. So that just means I'm probably just going to work on hunting out there for elk while he's trying to get his buck. Because we kind of have an idea of what that area is like, so... Now, the big hunt of the year, it's not even going to be my hunt, and it's not an archery hunt. The big hunt of the year is my dad did draw a limited entry bull tag for rifle in a really amazing unit out here. So, that hunt lasts a whole week. So, Saturday to Friday, I think is what it is. So, I'm taking that whole week off to help him hunt for that. So we've got a, a busy year ahead of us. And that just means we got a lot of a lot of videos to come. You know another thing my dad's doing this year? Lucky son of a gun's going to Alaska to hunt moose. He's going on a Yukon. Well, I don't know if it's Yukon. He's going on a moose hunt. So needless to say, that one is also not going to be an archery hunt. And I don't know if he's going to be able to film it or if he'll have somebody up there filming it for him, but I can't go to that one. But that would be a really cool one to post.
trying this bow. And I mean literally first time. I never even shot this bow before I decided to buy it. I just bought it. Mm, yeah, that's nice. That took a lot to go back. I like it. I guess now all we got to do is a paper tune it. See how she tunes. Can't go through the same hole. That's it for getting the bow all tuned up all ready to shoot had to go to work and uh, only took me about a day I just got to make sure I get a peep sight tied in and then get the get it sighted in um, get it all ready to go before tack but we got a bullet hole through paper she's ready to go but yeah that's my that's me getting my bow set up and uh, tuned up ready to go and also my uh, schedule for this season and the rest of the summer and all that good stuff so coming up we'll have some videos about just stuff that i've learned about going to tack probably share some uh share some total archery challenge knowledge if you will along with just you know more more videos about getting the new the new venom set up and more cameos from maverick now all he wants to do is Play fetch. <laughs> but until next time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you keep up with all the Total Archer Challenge stuff coming up and then the hunt. All the hunts, the deer hunt, my elk hunt, my dad's limited entry elk hunt. Um, they'll all be, they'll all be recorded and hopefully successful. So, again, everyone, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys later.